Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to another Game Maker tutorial. And I'm pretty excited about this tutorial because today I'm finally going to show you guys a simple way of doing your sprites, um, how to control the different sprites for the platform tutorial that I put out. So I've got these different sprites here um, with some different walking and standing and jumping images and I'm going to put a link in the description for these images so that you can use them as you're following along in the tutorial. Um, if you want to use them in your game as well you can. I, they're just kind of generic sprites there's nothing special about them but maybe you will uh, edit them just a little bit and make them look awesome and use them in your actual game. So. Um, you can get those in the description. Also, real quick, I wanted to mention that my Kickstarter is in its last week. And if you're watching this video, like, way after it was out, then I'll probably have a link here to my website. But the Kickstarter for my book is has less than a week left, so I'll put a quick link up in here. If you haven't checked that out yet, it's uh, getting close to the end of the Kickstarter, so you'll want to make sure and go check that out. Um, let's jump right in now. I've got this mask, which is just a block, and whenever you're doing um, collisions in your game, you're probably going to want to use a mask because it just simplifies the collisions a ton. So uh, let's open up the player, and oh yeah, real quick, if you didn't watch the video before this that shows how to set up the platform physics, I'm going to put a link up here as well where you can go back to that video and watch it to get caught up. So there's only one video before this and it's not a very long one. So we're going to go into the step event here for the player. And well actually first we're going to change. So we're going to leave this mask. We're going to want to set the mask to this just block thing like we said before. And we're going to change the player sprite to the player stand. And then I'm going to go into the step event here and go down to the very bottom hit enter a couple times and this is going to be where we control the sprites and we're going to do if y previous does not equal y okay then we're going to do else and so what this is checking is if we're moving vertically right because if our y previous doesn't equal our y current y position then we've moved some in the y direction vertically because they don't equal each other anymore. So we're going to do something. We're going to come into here and we're going to do sprite index equals sprite player jump. Okay. And oops, sprite uh, player jump. And then we're going to do image speed equals zero because we don't need to do anything with the image speed. But we will want to control the image index because in my jumping animation, um, let me bring it up here real quick. I've got two images, one for when he's jumping up and one for when he's falling down. Zero is up, one is down. So we're going to want to control the, j the image that is displayed based on whether he's going up or going down and that's a pretty uh, simple code well it's a little tricky but I'll explain it image index equals y is greater than y previous so if y is greater than y previous that means we are going down wait let me think yeah that means we're going down which means this is going to return um, true, which is going to be one, which is going to be the falling sprite. If it's not greater, that means we're going to be going up and it'll return zero, which will be the going up sprite. So that's how that works. Okay, let's go into our else clause. Now the else is, this is means we're not moving horizontally. Um, or sorry, we're not moving vertically. So we're going to want to check inside of here to see if we're moving horizontally. If x previous is not equal x, so if we're moving horizontally, else, and add in a couple things. Let me maximize this here real quick so you can see better. Sorry about that. So if x previous does not equal x, so if we are moving horizontally, that's what that says. 
sprite index equals sprite player walk. We want to be walking, right? If we're moving horizontally. Image speed equals 0.3, and we'll want to set an image speed. Else, we're going to do sprite index equals sprite player stand. Simple enough. If we're moving horizontally, we want to be walking, and we want an image speed. If we're not, then we want to be standing. Now we're going to hit enter down here, and we're going to want to control the direction the player is facing, and we're going to use image x scale to do that. So control the direction the player is facing, and we're going to do if x previous is less than x, which means if we're moving to the right. If our x previous is less than our current x position, we're moving to the left. Else if x previous is greater than x, and that would mean we're moving to the left. Okay, so if we're moving to the right, we want our image x scale to equal 1, because that would be facing the right direction. If we're moving to the left, image x scale is going to be set equal to negative 1. And what that means is we're going to scale the image negative um, 1, and that will um, flip the image to face the opposite direction. Now you're going to want to make sure that all of your images are centered because if they're not centered, when it flips it, it'll flips it, it'll it flips it on the origin. So if your sprite isn't centered, it will look weird. Your player will kind of jump around funny. And we definitely don't want that. So um, let me come back into here real quick and give you guys a chance to pause. This is all the code that we wrote right here. Um, if you need to pause and fill in some of this, go, go right ahead. Let's go into the game and make sure that this actually works after all of that code that we added in. It does. It should work. <laughs> I've already tested it, so hopefully it works. But you can see when we're moving, we can move to the right, jump, and he does his little going up, falling thing. And it flips good. If we stop, he stops moving. Everything looks great. So this is how you would get your platform game character to start animating. And it's pretty simple, not too complicated. So hopefully this video helped you. Hopefully you learned something from it. And I really appreciate you guys, especially here on YouTube. My YouTube channel is probably one of the best things that I've done in the last year. I mean, I'm really proud of my channel and the support that you guys have given me. So thank you guys for that. I really appreciate it. Um, be sure and download these sprites and follow along. Um, make sure and like, favorite this video. And you can check out my Facebook page or follow me on Twitter. That's always helpful to me as well. So I really appreciate you guys and I will talk to you guys later.